another episode of Puppet Storytime. I'm so glad you could join me here today. Today we are going to be telling the story of Little Blue Riding Hood. Here we go. Once upon a time... Hey, 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 ha ha! I want to tell this story today. Do you mind, Grandma? Oh, friends, this is my good friend Jiggs. Hi, friends. And he wants to tell the story for you today. All right, <laughs> now she thought she's gone. Huh, let's see. Where were we at? Hmm, don't remember, don't rem Ah, I remember. Once upon a time. There lived Little Blue Riding Hood. La la la, la la la, la la la. Oh, hi, Jigs. What you doing? I'm telling my story of Little Blue Riding Hood. Um, Jigs, who are you looking at? And who are you talking to? I'm telling my story to the ants. Don't you see them out there, the ants? Uh, okay, may I listen to? Sure. I hope you like Little Blue Riding Hood. Jigs, don't you mean Little Red Riding Hood? Ah, uh, I suppose so. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Green Riding Hood. Red, Jigs, red! Yes, I've read the story. Now don't interrupt me. That's not what I mean, Jigs. You called her Little Green Riding Hood, Jigs. But her name is really Little Red Riding Hood. Picky, picky, picky. What's the difference? I like green better than red. So do I, Jigs. But you should tell the story the way it really is. Oh, all right. Have it your way. One day, Little Red Riding Hood went to school with a bushel of apples for her teacher. No, 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 Jigs. What's the problem? I called her Red, didn't I? But you got everything else wrong. She was supposed to go to her grandmother's house with a basket full of cakes. Oh, all right, all right. Little Red Riding Hood went to her grandmother's house. A tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket. La, 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 and she met a giraffe. She met a what? A giraffe. You know, one of those funny looking animals with the long neck. I know what a giraffe is, Jigs, but that's not what Little Red Riding Hood met. Ah, of course it wasn't. I remember now. It was a rhinoceros. No, Jigs. That's right. It really was a hippopotamus. <laughs> Silly me. I got rhinos and hippos mixed up because I keep forgetting the hippos are the ones with the horns on their noses. You are mixed up. Little Red Riding Hood didn't meet a rhino or a hippo, Jigs. No? Ah, then it must have been a porcupine she met. No, Jigs, she didn't meet a porcupine either. Good, because she might have hurt herself on his quills. <laughs> ah, I bet she met a skunk. No. Good, because skunks stink. P.U. Jigs, Little Red Riding Hood met a wolf. A wolf, Jigs, just like you. Oh, yeah. And the wolf said to Little Purple Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood, Jigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wolf said, How now, brown cow? No, he didn't. That is kind of a silly thing to say. I bet he said, how much wood would woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> no, Jigs, he didn't say that either. Then he probably said, Peter Piper picked a pickle, pickle peppers, a pepper, pickle, 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 p
That sounds like something a wolf would say. He didn't say that either. Good, because that got my tongue all twisted up. Jiggs, the wolf said, what do you have in the basket, little girl? So we did. And after the wolf said whatever you said, the wolf said, little orange riding hood. Little red riding hood, Jiggs, little red riding hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little red riding hood, little red riding hood, little red riding hood. Said I have a skunky cabbage in my basket. <laughs> she did not say that, Jiggs. She said I have cakes in my basket. Yeah, that's what she said, isn't it? So then the dragon. <gasps> what dragon? It's a wolf, like you, a wolf. Right, right. And the wolf burst into song. Happy birthday to you. The wolf did not burst into the happy birthday song, Jigs. But you said Little Rainbow Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh my goodness, it's Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, you said Little What's Her Color had all those birthday cakes in her basket. Jigs. They weren't birthday cakes. They were plain, ordinary, everyday cakes. Then what did the dinosaur sing? It wasn't a dinosaur, Jigs. It was a wolf, like you, a wolf. And it didn't sing anything. You're so mixed up. You better let me tell this story from here on out. Uh, okay. What story are you going to tell? Oh, I know. The one about the brother and the sister that get lost in the woods, you know, Hansel and Gretchen? No, no, I'll tell the story about the beautiful girl who lived in the forest with the 17 elves? Or, no, no, how about my favorite story of all, Jigs? Then you know the one where the boy trades his cow in for some magical beans? Jack and the bean pole? Oh, friends. I don't think I'm the only one who's mixed up with all these stories, do you? Let's borrow a book of fairy tales from the library. We can read it together and get our story straight. That's a good idea. Well, friends, maybe you'd like to get a fairy tale at the library, too. If you're lucky, you can pick up the story about that clever cat named Puss in Slippers. You mean Puss in Sneakers, Migs. Oh, that's right, Jigs. Look for Puss and Sneakers on your next visit to the library. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, friends, I do hope that you have enjoyed this puppet story time with our two friends, Migs and Jigs. Until next time, bye. Oh.